Okay, so we have checked in to the Grand, my mother and I, and uh, we are in a theme park view room uh, in building number nine uh, on the fourth floor. And the challenges began at at check-in, and they have proceeded up to this point. It has been ridiculous. Um, The girl that checked me in really didn't seem like she knew what she was doing. Um, And I had concerns, and I asked her to double-check some things, and she didn't. Um, And I'll explain what happened in a second. But we get our room assignments. We got here about 3 o'clock. The rooms were ready. Um, we're going to come over to building nine and they're doing some pressure washing or something. And they have, my mother's in a scooter and they have this big machine, this big crane thing blocking the walkway. And my mother has this little tiny, tiny space that she has to negotiate her scooter through, which that was annoying. Um, then we noticed as I was coming in that apparently they've recently laid some fresh sod, but it's not been watered. And so the edges of the sod are all brown and uh, uh, dead. So that didn't look good. But okay, so we get up to the room. Put my magic band to the door, it works fine. Put mom's to hers, doesn't work at all. So okay, we come in here. So I'll tell the rest of the story in a second. Let's take a look at the room. It is, uh, it's a pretty room. Um, I know a lot of people like the vaulted ceilings. I'm not a huge fan of them, but uh, it is very, very pretty. I'll, I'll say on you know first spec, it looks uh, it looks really good. So got this beautiful wingback chair here, um, that's really really nice. I love wingback chairs. Um, two queen beds. Uh, the furniture is really very uh, very elegant. Very elegant furniture. I can see somewhere, not bad. Um, on this, it's probably middle of its life cycle, so that's not too bad. The carpet is in good shape. The carpet looks new or relatively new. Um, yeah, yeah, the carpet looks good. Um, let's take a look, do the test. Now, I'm just going to say something. Don't ever do this in my house, okay? Because, but when I'm paying to stay somewhere, it's different. Clean. Clean now. Corey just comes out this way so I can get to this picture over here. Spotless. Spotless. Um, this is really nice. Again, good shape. No, no stains. Little uh, mini fridge. No surprises in it. That's good. Um, you've got... Um, what appears to be eight drawers in this bureau. They are fairly small um, and, uh, and, and very shallow. So they're not gonna hold a lot. You're gonna hold maybe some t-shirts, socks, underwear, uh, little personal effects like that. I don't think you're gonna be putting too many pants or uh, anything like that. And you have two drawers. I always get criticized because I forget to talk about the storage in these rooms. So I'm trying to be better about that. Um, you do have a couple of larger drawers uh, in the nightstand. Uh, nightstand has an alarm clock um, and two USB ports as well as a charger there, which is good. You've got uh, four more outlets here and four more USB ports. So you know it's a relatively recent rehab uh, in this room. Um, standard issue, um, the Kerrig, it's nice to see. Of course, I forgot to bring my K-Cups. I'm not a fan of the uh, Joffrey's French roast. Um, I don't know why we have to have four French roasts here, why we can't have two French roasts and two medium roasts, but it is what it is. Um, but again, everything looks to be, ah, uh, got them. Got them, they missed a spot, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, yeah, I mean, Okay, wait a minute. Oof. This needs to be thrown out. (laughs) There are stains on this. I don't want to know what they are. This is when I wish I brought a black light. Because I don't know if your camera is going to get these stains. These are stains, not discolorations. Um, And there's like glitter 
on here. This is worn and old and dirty. Um, there's glitter all over this, um, which I get, you know, it's Disney and kids have glitter or rhino. Um, so I, I get it, but there's also, there's dirt on this, there's stains on this. I, how could you leave this? This is also someone's bed, okay? Um, that's what this is supposed to be. So I believe, this is what turns down into a bed. And you get this lovely extra fabric and strings. Not screaming deluxe to me, this thing. The rest of the room, yes. This thing needs to be thrown out. How can they leave this in here? Um, okay. Okay, we'll do that later. <laughs> I need both hands for that, and I've got to hold this for audio. Uh, theme park view room, Corey, if you want to walk out in the balcony. Um, is a nice view. Is a nice view. Got the contemporary and... I think my new favorite thing ever in the history of things, uh, the Bay Lake Tower. Um, Cinderella Castle right there. Um, I'm going to enjoy morning coffee or evening fireworks from this room. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, beautiful view. Uh, love this. So this works out well. And again, you know, out here also, it's a very small balcony. Um, there's barely enough room for two people on this balcony, but how much room do you need? Um, that's what you're here for. So go ahead back inside. Um, let's take a look at the bathroom. And yeah, clean. Clean. Just one spot they missed, that's all. And that's pretty good. They don't get any points off for that. They're getting huge points off for what happened downstairs. I told this girl to make sure that the magic band from my mother was attached to that room. And she assured me that it was. Only to find out she never checked my mother's room in. So there was no way that she knew that that band, because she would know. She would know if she was checking to see if that band was attached that it was checked in. It wasn't. My room was, hers wasn't. This required three phone calls. Two from me, one from a bellman to get fixed. Okay? So this is what they're off to. So now the room, they're not going to get knocked on the room too. Well, they're going to get, they're going to get something off of that, that couch. I'm not sitting on that couch. I'm going to catch, I'm going to catch some kind of communicable disease on that couch. Um, but they're getting major points off for check-in. They're getting major points off. Again, flagship resort, $770 a night for each one of these rooms. Um, there's no, there's no forgiveness. You have to get it right. You got to get it right the first time or you're going to get knocked for it. And I think that's only fair. Um, bathroom. Hold on for this. I need two hands. I always look for soap scum bottom. You rub it together. If there's any dried soap, you'll see flakes. And I don't. Nope. It's clean. This tub's seen better days, but it's not bad. I mean, it's not just there's discoloration and that just happens with age. Now I'll open this up. My bags are in here. I think we've got an iron ironing board some robes, um, or a single robe. There really should be two in there. Um, or they know I'm perpetually single and said, you know, let's not make him feel bad that there's two robes in there and he only needs one. Um, safe. Yeah, about large enough for a, a smaller laptop. Um, extra pillow and blanket. I mean, overall... Overall, I would say, you know, it's a, it's a really nice room. It's a beautiful room. It's clean. It's well-appointed. Um, major points off for that couch, though. Major, major points off for that couch. Um, that's unacceptable. I don't know here at the Grand Floridian, I don't know how they let that happen. That the couch is disgusting. So, all right, Corey's going to go next door, and he's going to do this with my mother because 
She's gonna tell you what she thinks of her room. You get the walker. Uh, well, she uses her walker when she's cooking and she puts the dishes, like the, the, the cooked food on the walker oh, and she yeah, wheels it into right. the dining room. <laughs> it's great. Uh, this looks very clean, very, you know, very nice. Uh, everything in here looks good, right? The mirror, no streaks in the mirror. No dust. See? No dust that, up that's here. That's good that's, because... Yeah, I only found one place in my room that had had some dust. But, no, I mean, my room is very clean. It was just that couch. Um, that couch, like, skied me out. Yeah, yeah. I didn't get a chance to come in here and see. So this looks good. This looks nice and clean. Very, very nice. So what's your impression of the room overall, like, when you came in? I like it. It's uh, nothing exceptional. Oh, damn. I mean, I, good. No, that's that's a good observation. That you don't think it's, you know, it's I not... I was looking for something more, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's... No, me. it's... No. I don't what, know, I don't know some, why I was looking, looking for... for something more what? Uh, uh, well, being that it's the Grand Floridian, I just thought, I don't know, I would be walking to the room and go, but that's all. That's no, me. No, you know what, Ma? That's you know what I mean. That's a, your and you know what your opinion is valid. Yeah, but yeah, somebody else might come in and say, "Wow." Right, but when, this I, is I, you we're talking to. We're not talking to somebody else. We're talking to you, and we want your opinion. Okay, so this confuses the hell out of me. I bought a couple of robes recently when I was out in California. I bought one from the Grand California and the Disney Vacation Club robe. And they're Beats, okay? Well, when I got home and I tried them on, like, wow, these are really chintzy robes. It's the only way I could describe it. And they go for $74, $75, $74.99. So, I was in here looking at some of the logo merchandise, which I'm really happy that they have, some Grand Floridian mo logo merchandise. They have this robe, right? This robe is, it's impossible to tell from the video, but it has a lot more heft to it. Oops. Um, same price, $74.99. Um, so, this is the robe I'm getting. I also like the fact that the robe goes all the way to the ground. Um, it's a little, well, uh, uh, granted, it's a little warm, it's a little warm for Florida, um, but I don't care, I have to have a robe, there's got to be that period between shower and getting dressed, it just doesn't feel right if I get dressed immediately, so, um, 75 bucks, 20% off my annual pass. Just sweet. <laughs> That is a really cute hat, Ma. Yeah. I really like that. It's it looks nice, nice too. Right? Nice and me don't get along with it. What do you mean? You look okay. wonderful uh, in hats. Now, well, like, especially in Florida, it's something that you really need. She has to keep the, the sun off of her. That and the love bugs. Well, that too. <laughs> That's okay. Tommy Bahama, so it's going to be silk? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not. It's a silk blend. Small, That's small petite. Too small. There's a medium. Yeah. That's just really pretty. I love that color. That that something that that color works on you. That color works on you. What's that? Yeah, that's gonna be more comfortable. The lock. Yeah, like I said, even if you're just wearing it around the house.
I'm, uh, I'm going to beat these people. So I just left my mother's room, right? We had the problem with her getting into her room. Mine, we worked fine. Well, guess what? Now mine doesn't work. I'm pitching a fit. Now I'm not going to pitch a fit. I'm going to make my displeasure known, though. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I've not seen this in one of their hotels in a long time. And you know what makes me sad is I hope this turns around, but I was saying with Bay Lake Tower, the last review I did, that it was the best hotel review I'd done in a very long time. This is gonna be one of the worst. If it keeps going the way it's going, this is gonna be one of the worst. Okay, so it is about a quarter after seven, uh, roughly four hours after we checked in. And I was just able to get back into my room. So let me explain what happened. Um, uh, I booked both these rooms for me and my mom. And the lead name, mine, was on both rooms. And so that apparently created an issue. Now, it has not created an issue before. I usually do that. Um, I like my name on my mother's room, mainly because she's 88. And if there's an emergency, I want to be able to at least have a reason to get in there if I have to call a cast member and say, my name's on the room. Um, so I understand that that could have been a glitch, right? Why it wasn't caught at check-in, if it's such an obvious, the, the, the witch that I've been working with the last two times, and I'm being nice right now when I say witch, attitude like you cannot she was rude and she had attitude like how dare i be offended or upset that i couldn't get into the room i'm paying 750 dollars a night for one of them is 750 dollars a night i got two because this is where my mother wanted to stay and doing everything i could just to keep all this drama away from my mom right not have her up there with me, just say, I just got to, there's something wrong with my band. I don't want to bring this drama to her. I don't want it to, to affect her experience. So we went to the front desk and this witch uh, allegedly fixed the problem. I didn't go right back to the room at that point. I, you know, at that point, this has already been an hour since I checked in. Um, I wanted to, because it worked the first time. It worked initially, right? My mom's didn't. And then they said they fixed it. So my mom's worked and mine didn't. And that's when I went back down again. So she claims to have fixed it. And then um, we went and we did some shopping. And uh, we were hungry, so we stopped at the Grand Floridian Cafe, which, as I posted on Twitter, it's like, Grand Floridian Bizarro World because the service is horrendous uh, in this hotel, but the service and the food in the Grand Floridian Cafe was wonderful. Um, really and truly, I'm shocked. It's the first good meal I've had in there in a long time. Um, and, it, and so I was really happy about that. Um, of course, walk back up to my room. Now both magic bands open my mother's room. Neither of them open mine. So I walk back down, and now I'm steamed. Now I'm steamed, I'll be honest. I wasn't screaming or yelling. I was frustrated, and rightfully so. And I went right back to the same witch that allegedly fixed this the first time. I'm not going to mention her name, because I don't want to get anybody fired. Although, really and truly, she doesn't, she should not, put her in the back. Put her in the, she should not be working with guests. Neither should the front desk manager, for that matter. Um... And she basically tells me I'm lying, that uh, it was working when you left here. And I'm like, really? Did you go to the room? Did you open the door? No, you didn't. And then she starts throwing me attitude, and that's when the jersey comes out and the hand goes up. And I said, woman, don't you dare. Don't you dare start with the attitude with me. Get your manager out here now. Now, I had noticed this woman behind the computer like in the back of the front desk area. She was there the first time I had to go down. And now the second time, I asked for manager twice, 
and she looked over at her and then she finally walked over and I said, you, you're going to tell me you have been standing here for all of this both times and you didn't come over and say anything? So she's like, I'm very sorry. You know, what can we do? I said, you can get me into my room. Okay? It's four hours after I checked in. I would just like to get in my room. I'm not looking for a meal. I'm not looking for a free night. I'm not looking for anything. I just want to get into my damn room. And they, again, you know, the phone calls and the, you know, all the other nonsense. And they finally declare that it's fixed. And I said, somebody's walking up there with me. And if this band does not open that door, you are walking me and my mother over to the Polynesian to a hotel that knows what the hell they're doing because you don't. And this time, at 7 o'clock, four hours after I checked in, after three phone calls and two visits to the front desk interacting with four different cast members, my magic band finally worked. Now, it's not like my magic bands are new. It's not like they're never used on site or on property before. I use this same magic band, wherever it is in my pocket right now, I hope, um, uh, at Bay Lake Tower last week. I used it at Boardwalk last week. Everything was just fine. Oh, and for that matter, actually, now that I think about it, there were two rooms at Boardwalk last week that had my name as the lead name on it. And this was not a problem. So, I don't know. I don't know. And... I got to tell you right now, I don't give a crap what happens the next two days that I'm here. There is nothing they are going to do that is going to come back from this for me. So I'm going to tell you right now, the best this resort can hope for at this point is a four. That's how bad this was. And if you've watched my hotel reviews before, you know I am a fair guy. And I will, I will, I will make, uh, I, 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 I will go out of my way to look for the best in things. There's no coming back from that experience. It is unacceptable at any hotel, let alone a Disney hotel, let alone their alleged flagship. This is a joke if this is their flagship resort. This is a joke. I have had, I'm not kidding, better service at a Hilton Garden Inn for a fraction of the damn price. So I don't know if this is a general manager problem. I don't know if this is a training problem. I don't know if it's all the above. But oh my God. And then I go on TripAdvisor, right? And I start looking at the reviews the last couple of years for this hotel on TripAdvisor. There's some interesting stuff on there. There's some real interesting stuff on there. So I don't think I'm alone in this. But I got to tell you, it'll be a long time and a cold day in hell before I give this place my money again. That's how I feel right now. We'll see how I feel tomorrow, but that's how I feel right now. Okay, so we are midway through our stay at the Grand Floridian. And uh, you heard my comments earlier about the check-in process, but now with it, uh, I, I do want to say that um, <coughs> the following morning, Sabrina, who was a, I think she identified herself as a front desk lead, uh, did reach out to me. Um, and she was incredibly apologetic. And it was the kind of response that had they given that to me that yes. night at check-in, everything would have been fine. But instead I got attitude. And I got, you know, they did, that night, they did offer uh, free fast passes, which we weren't going into the park. They offered dinner. And I don't, ex you know, when we, especially when doing the review, I will not accept those things. Um, I saw it, but I do want to note that they did offer. However, when they were offered on uh, the night that we checked in, Wednesday night, um, it was, it, it, it seemed like um, that's just like standard practice. Rather than improving customer service, let's just throw free fast passes at people. Um, and, you know, the one, when the one manager said, you know, what is it you would like, what is it you want, sir? Or what is it you would like, sir? 
Um, I'm like, I'd like to get into my room. Um, but Sabrina called me uh, the next morning and was incredibly apologetic. And she again offered something and I politely said, no, that's fine. Um, I just want to make sure that, you know, it's noted that you have a real customer service problem at your front desk. Um, she did send a really beautiful uh, plate of chocolate uh, up to the room with cake pops and, and jelly beans and it was absolutely lovely. So it was very, very nice. Um, and I appreciate that. Uh, unfortunately, it was necessary because of how bad the experience was that night and that just shouldn't have happened. It's not the fact that the magic bands didn't work. Or that, it was their attitude. That was 100% of my problem. I can understand a technical glitch. What I can't understand is why you're going to be defensive and arrogant and rude in responding to it. But, um, so, uh, talk to me now, like you've been there a couple days and you were mentioning to me before that it's just not doing it for you, is it? No, it's not, not at all. I'm very disappointed. Because I had said to Peter, I had never stayed there and that I wanted to. And that's why he, he took me there. But I'm just not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. And usually I sleep so good when I'm away from that. And I, I don't know. I can't. The only thing I can say is that I'm not comfortable. And and you mentioned that you you're you're really having a problem with that couch, like oh, that's oh really yes. that's really getting to you. Yeah. Oh, I, well, I don't. I mean, why should you spend so much money being someplace and looking at a couch that's so stained? I wouldn't even sit on it. No, I won't sit on my either. <laughs> um, and it's not that there's anything overwhelmingly wrong with the room. They're the just the room is clean. It's very clean. other than that, other than the body fluid couch. Um, um, that's what I'm calling it now. Um, but you know, generally speaking, it is. It just is nothing impressive about the room um, to warrant it. And so, and that's okay uh, if the level of service had been up to the standard it was supposed to be. Now, I want to say, the Bellmen are wonderful. Um, the experience we had in the Grand Floridian Cafe, that blew my mind. Incredible service. So it's not like it's systemic throughout the entire resort. It really seemed to me like it was the front desk. Yeah, the front yes. desk. Um, so, you know, I'm still, even after a couple of days, and obviously I'm not as worked up as I was a few nights ago, but I'm still of the impression that um, it'd be a long time before I'd stay on the hotel side. Again, I want to make that clear to folks. We're on the hotel side of the Grand Floridian, not the Disney Vacation Club side. And everyone has told me how amazing the rooms are on the Disney Vacation Club side. I haven't gotten a chance to experience that, so we're going to have to try and do that at some point. Because um, it really kills me when she says that, you know, it really is kind of disappointing. Um, but, you know, uh, Grand, Flor uh, Grand Floridian Ca Cafe has been a highlight. Yes, yes, that's wonderful. And it is a beautiful resort. I mean, there's no two ways that's about right. it. It is an absolutely beautiful that's resort. Right. It is. But nowhere near worth what they're charging for. Not even close. Um, you get much better service over at Wilderness Lodge, you get much better service over at the Contemporary, you get much better service at the Polynesian. And honestly, if you're gonna spend that much money a night on a room, um, I would go stay concierge at the boardwalk. And oh, you're gonna get a gorgeous room yeah. and you're gonna have a level of service yeah. that will remind you of what it was like in the old days at Disney. Um, yeah. But we've got one more night yes. and we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, so um, our final thoughts on our experience staying here at the Grand Floridian. Um, for me, a major disappointment. Um, the service failure at the front desk. Uh, look, things going wrong with your magic band, I understand that. Uh, what I don't understand is when you have to still go back three times 
and then they're nasty and they have attitude. And I'm, so, I'm sorry, that's the technical problems I could have forgiven. That I won't. Because at the Grand, that should not be happening at their front desk ever. Ever. Um, and then the rooms. Um, the rooms were okay. Nowhere near worth $750 a night. I think you would agree with that. Yes. Then again, you wouldn't pay $750 for anything. <laughs> um, but sure. how did you feel about the room? I'd say that you did. I was disappointed. That's all. It was my disappointment. And when I looked at that couch and how badly it was stained, I was really, I felt bad. Just ruined it. <laughs> I felt bad. Uh, I, I didn't. I thought that housekeeping was okay. Yeah, they, no, they did a good job. They did it. They, everything was clean. No, I can't say that it wasn't. Beds were comfortable, but I just uh, very disappointed in the way the the room was. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It it didn't it didn't feel. No. It didn't it didn't feel like what the grand should feel like. Okay. You know, and, and when I walked in, I, I guess I was expecting something else. Yeah. And then looking at that couch just just killed it. Ruined, ruined it. And what got me is it wasn't just your couch that was stained; so was mine. Yeah. So it's like, how do you not fix that? But I don't know. That's I, right. I I don't know how they do these things. You know, when they do it, they should be a certain amount. Of Time they have to rehab they have them, to. but when they see something like that, that should be addressed immediately. I would think so. You know, I but apparently so. not. So, um, yeah, it'll be a long, 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 long time before I stay hotel side at the Grand Floridian. I feel the need to make that distinction. This is not a DBC review. We were staying at the on the hotel side. That's right. We haven't reviewed. The DVC side yet that's coming um, but hotel wise honestly my recommendation stands if you have a reservation booked at the Grand Floridian I would highly recommend going to the contemporary going to the boardwalk you're gonna find a much much better experience with the rooms much higher level of service from the cast members um, I under no circumstances would I come here again so there you have it. That's a review of the Grand Floridian. Oh, but the one bright spot, the one bright spot, the Grand Floridian Cafe. Like I said, this is like Bizarro World where, you know, there's a oh, service yes. failure at the Grand, <laughs> at the front desk, and the rooms aren't that great. But the Grand Floridian Cafe, which it's has wonderful. been one of, the, one of the worst restaurants for years, is now like, I'm not going to say it's in my top five, but it's sure as heck on my top ten. I think it's wonderful. It really, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, service, the service is just out of this world. And what I like about the service is it's friendly and casual. Right. It's not uptight, and it's perfect for that restaurant. Exactly. That's what you want for that restaurant. Exactly. So yeah, you got nothing but good things to say about the Grand Floridian Cafe. And honestly, the cast members that we've run into around the resort have been wonderful. Oh yeah, no, I can't say anything about them. They've been wonderful. They've been really, really. The great. other thing, the other thing I want to mention, and I was ready to wrap this up. Uh, the other thing I want to mention, a lot of traffic on these walkways with their carts, their 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 maintenance carts, their laundry carts, their 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 yes, bell service yes, golf carts. It is. It's like a it's like you're walking on a highway. Um and that that would just it's like that's not very <laughs> relaxing to me. And as I speak, here's a maintenance <coughs> you if you stand still for ten minutes well, at this resort you're gonna see one. Um, and then you're happy that they're well, I mean, here yeah, and but working. <laughs> it's an awful lot of volume. It's a volume of traffic. There's one point we were walking across the resort, and I really felt like I was on, walking down a highway because there was one cart behind us trying to pass and two carts coming the other way. And it's right. like, okay, this is just not... So, so yeah, not a fan. Not a fan. <laughs> um, but that will do it for our look at the Grand Floridian. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you again next time. Take care.